Away from Tonys and Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. There's no red carpet because they're home in their jammies. From Melrose Place to Broadway to Janeway and her crew. Let Seth and James bring all the stars to you. Anywho. They're entertaining everyone. So who's going to grouse? Just sit right back and you'll hear some tales on Star. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Stars in the House. I'm Hi, James Wesley. I'm Seth Rudetsky, and together we are married. The hosts. The hosts. Um, guys, what is Stars in the House? You may be asking yourself. Perhaps you're here because you're a fan of Jack Plotnick, and you saw him when he starred in the hit movie Chairman of the Board. <laughs> oh, my God. Pick him <laughs> off. Uh, regardless... <laughs> And again, I say that's why we had to start our own YouTube channel because the Actors Fund was like, you know what? You may be doing a fundraiser for us, but you cannot sully our YouTube channel. Yeah, they, they picked up on the nonstop cursing. <laughs> Any to the who. So we're a fundraiser for the Actors Fund, which is for anybody in the arts, whether you're a performer on stage or whether you work backstage in any aspect, whether you work front of house, house manager, box office people in front of the camera, behind the camera, whatever you do in the arts, you qualify um, to get funds from the actress fund right. and also social services. Like they also help with, you know, with drug addiction for treatments, but also just literally, I can't pay my rent. I need money for my Definitely health, health insurance. Yeah. You go to actressfund.org and you can ask for help. And if you've already gotten money from the actress fund, they've actually now you're allowed for your second dose. Basically Since we're 10 months into this. Thing. Remember when it was going to be six weeks. I was just thinking about that. Yep. Uh, any to the who's you go to actressfund.org. If you need help, if you can give some help and boy, we're appreciative of all the people yes. giving us help lately. You go to starsinthehouse.com and make a donation, or you can text fund 2020 to five, six, five, one, two. You're going to get a receipt forward the receipt to donations at stars in the house.com. And then we'll get a fun list and we'll send it to one of our performers tonight. And perhaps Alice Shipley will do it as a conjoined twin. Perhaps Jack Plotnick <laughs> will do it as the co-star of chairman of the board, the character he played. Hey, no, do not bring was, him back. It wasn't on. really a character. It was just sort of, I don't know what he was doing in that movie. It was horrific. Perhaps Jolie will do it as a sassy, um, either wife in, um, what was that? What was that amazing sitcom you did? You were the wife of Brad. I can't remember. Or perhaps Garrett. Paul will simply be bored. Okay. Oh, regardless. <laughs> It's just literally okay. Yeah, I guess, uh, he's not bored. He's actually very. Oh, <laughs> Annie to the who. Welcome um, to the show, James. Well, What's up? Yes. Yeah, so we got our, our update since we have not been on the air for a few days. And we are up to raise for the actors fund. Yes. I'm going to do it really big, Seth. I won't fall off at the end. Are you ready? Yeah. Six hundred and sixty five thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. Often people, often donors like you, but it's true. No corporate sponsors, just nice people sending in five, 10, 25, 50 bucks. Thank you guys so much. Ah, very exciting. Okay, um, so let's talk about what's up this week and what's up next week and what's coming up in February, Seth. Uh, you mean to, to say? Yeah, you know, you. he okay, has a whole so calendar. He keeps track. It's right here. Um, tomorrow, not doing a show. We're going to be watching the uh, inauguration celebration. Yes, because um, we'd have a viewer yes. if we did a show tomorrow. Yes, exactly. So we're not doing a show tomorrow. On Thursday, yes, we're going to we're going to celebrate the the four years that we did concert for America to celebrate America, and we're going to have highlights and special guests, whom of course we haven't invited yet, but we will <laughs> <laughs> give us till Thursday. Friday, um, we haven't figured out yet. We did talk to Kristen no. Chenoweth, oh. and Kristen Chenoweth is going to come back. Um, she's uh, we were going to do. We're, at some point, we're going to do your. Well, then maybe Charlie we could Brown. do Charlie Brown Friday. No, Stanley Wayne Mathis is not available. And maybe I could do New him. Brain Friday. Now that's a possibility. Yeah, we're thinking of doing um, a, re a reunion of a New Brain. And then Saturday is Cheetah Rivera's birthday. So uh, I talked to Cheetah today. Yes, I name dropped. I talked to Cheetah today. Mom, and you spoke to her assistant. Anyway, go on. I talked to her assistant, Rosemary, <laughs> Rosie. Um, but I also talked to Cheetah. Um, and she's going to join us for her birthday celebration on Saturday. Her oh birthday is actually God. Saturday. She's going to be with us on Saturday. Seth was, was like, James, why? Because I talked to Rosie he earlier. Was, he was so vague. He's like, so Cheetah's birthday is this weekend. So we may want to do something. Well, it's like, I didn't know. He didn't Cheetah go like, can't was... Cheetah appear? I mean, I knew Cheetah would not be having a big birthday party, but I like, you know, she's got a large family. I'm like, oh, is she? I don't want to impose. But why can't you just say, can't she come on the show? I'm weird, Seth. It I'm, was I'm such like, a crazy conversation. I know. By the way, he does the same thing when he's in foreign countries. He can't speak a language, <laughs> so he'll speak English, but haltingly be like, do you know where the 
bathroom is. I'm like, you're not. Just literally said, you know what the bathroom is. It's so true. <laughs> Does it so have true. voice? It's very true. Oh Cheetah will show Seth up. Is really good. It's like we can go. He may know a smattering of a certain language, but by God, you will just here's the problem. Just do it, which but I, I can, love about you. But I can ask the question. Literally, don't understand the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be like, <laughs> "Who's the two? I was like, "Who's the two le train?" And I'm like, yeah. "I don't know what you're saying." Andrea but I'm so would, proud of myself. That's right. Andrea would say, "You put your shoulder behind it every time." Andrea Martin, just thank no you. No one really understands you. Um, um but hold on. And then, yes, and Queen. Then the following week, bring Jack on. Oh God, I gotta do it. Next this one. week, we are taking off. We realized we literally we've been doing this since March 16th. We have not taken a whole. He looks week like a freak off. ass. Look at the face. And Jack Plotnick, <laughs> since he has his his, his fan, your fan base has grown. Jack, Jack is going to be guest hosting next Thursday. But weirdly, we're going to be the guests, so we're still doing a show. <laughs> oh. Forget it. <laughs> oh no, he just closed his laptop. So I know. Here's what I know so far. Jack is doing Thursday. I'm going to go back. Nina West is doing Tuesday. Nina West from RuPaul's Drag Race. Christine Petty is doing Wednesday. Christine Petty, my co-host in Series XM. Jack is doing Thursday. Blake Ross is putting it together. I'm hoping that Jose Lana is going to do Friday. That's, oh, that's what I'm hoping. That. And then Saturday is Brenda Braxton. Oh, my so God. That's all next week. And then, so Jack, we've had it with you. That's it. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, um, hey. <laughs> did I make a mistake in saying that Jack could do anything except... I told him he could not do Girls Will Be Girls. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a reunion of Girls Will Be Girls with Miss Coco and Evie Harris and Barla Jean. But I want to actually be there for that. So right. I told Jack he's not allowed. To, but uh, yeah, again, why not a reunion of Chairman of the Board? It's what <laughs> I've been asking. It's your first hit movie. Oh, well, I'm You're a Tops big movie. And right. when I say big, I don't mean big in any way because it flopped terribly. And oh, I was like, <laughs> it was a flapper. Okay, anyway, yes. And then the last thing before we start the game, um, because this is game night, um, is that the I believe it's gonna be each Tuesday in February. February is Black History Month. Yeah. And each Tuesday um in February, we are turning over that we're doing a show takeover, or actually I should say black see when I'm tired when I said ah. Um, Black Theater United is taking over the show each Tuesday. I know that Darius Tahas is doing it, Lilius White, is Michael Capathia? McElroy. I don't know. Maybe Capathia is helping organize it. But They're all that's going to be that whole group each is amazing. Tuesday in February. Seth, let's... Wait, by the way, it's hilarious. What are you doing a week off? Our tech person, David, was like, I know you won't be here. I'm like, we're going to be here. We're just basically cleaning our house. Here's what we're hoping. David is going to come over with the mask. And he is going to come over here. I, didn't I tell you this earlier? Well, I asked him to he's going to come over at night, and he's going to, dear God, help us with the lights. I know I have to tell, like, take a picture. He's going to try to get gels for the first time in ten months. We might actually have good lighting. He's going to organize the wires in here because you know all the wires. Down I do here. my Sirius XM radio show here. I do Stars in the House here, and I do my concert it's series here, mess. and it's all separate. And I can't tell you how horrific it is and so anyway, david go save us for a number more months we gotta we gotta do it so uh there you go all right so we're doing game night tonight and as you know game night is supposed to be fun but it's not as competitive and angry if i'm in charge so paul already asked me the level of hostility and i told him hi here's paul oh. and steven yay hi, hi, hi guys hi hostility yes hi hostility <laughs> is correct mundo uh, Okay, then we have, of course, our moderator jack plotnik all right hi jack master of ceremonies a mistress of ceremonies hi jack Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Okay, bye-bye. I can't. I can't deal with the comedy level when it's that low. Hi, Jackie. Oh, my God. Okay, then, that's what I want. Jack, you're simply here to be seen, not to speak. Then I have... I'm so excited to see... Yes, your co-star from The Ellen Show and Paul's co-star from Greece. Yes. And me and Paul's co-star from when she did her own act at the triad. We had the best time, Ms. Jolie Fisher. <laughs> Remember that Jolie's last jam? Oh, it was so fun! God, I should have shown clips from that tonight. Hi, boy. Jolie. Hi, Jolie. <laughs> Hi, Jolie. And we always have to have at least one Tony Award winner per game show. And thank God we have one tonight. Please welcome the brilliant Miss Alice Ripley. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Oh, now I know why you asked me. Oh yeah, it was it was just I had a list of Tony winners and I just went down alphabetically. And you were A. Well, the, the truth is, one of our most memorable game nights that we've ever had was with you Alice, and Paul Cassidy. And Paul on the Rosie Cruise was that literally in two thousand and seven? We laughed so I still oh, remember how hard we laughed. So fun, wasn't it? We had a great oh, time. My. Hi Paul. Hi Stephen. Yeah. Hi Jolie. 
Hi, Jack. Hi, Hi James. Hi, Sarah. It's a little chilly in my kitchen, so I have a, my babushka on my head. <laughs> it's quote unquote all good. Um, okay, so we're very excited. Oh, do you want to be on the same team again? Um, you whatever we want to do. Okay, so we're going to do so the teams are going to be me, James, Alice Ripley, Jolie, Paul, Stephen. <laughs> Woo! Bring it on. And the, the letter today, by the way, is E for various reasons. E, because I first saw Jolie when she was on The Ellen Show. Second of all, Paul Castry played Eugene in Greece. Third of all, Alice Ripley belted an E and she's gone in Sideshow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a triple, For all great reasons. triple whammy. Be natural. Hold on, Paul, I think Jack's doing a quote unquote comedy bit. Hold on. <laughs> Alice is the bush is attacking me. <laughs> oh, Alice, Alice, control, control. It's coming to the screen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's wow, that's ah. sorry. That's a yes and if I've ever because I'm not wearing any pants, it gets a little cold. You gotta wear a hat on your head. <laughs> that's your inside voice that should have said that. We're all going okay. crazy. No, I know. <laughs> okay, so I'm, all we I'm need. There. All we need are team names. So me, James, and Alice, I, we're obviously the Tony team because Alice covers the Tony. <laughs> Jolie, Paul, and Steven, what are you guys? I don't know. Jolie, you you pick a name. Hey, Eugene. Uh, oh, hey, Eugene team. Uh, that was her big line at the end of the show with Paul. That was their moment. That's oh. so romantic. Hey, <laughs> Eugene. And then they made out. And that's your favorite How moment you on the exactly, TV, right? Paul, you look exactly the same. Wow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> he does, Jolie. It's infuriating. Paul, um, your beard ended up on my head somehow. <laughs> it seems to be a beard, right, Paul? I mean. <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay, so let me explain. For, for people that have not seen um, the show, we're playing a game called Salad Bowl that our friend Anika Larson told us about. We've all sent in various words, phrases, song lyrics that begin with the letter E for the reason I told you. We are in two teams. So let's say I'm going, I'm trying to get my teammates to guess as many of those E phrases as I, as I can within a minute. It's kind of like celebrity. All oh, of those Lord. words now. Yeah. So once I finish that, they all go back into the salad bowl. So every team has to pay attention because all those words and phrases are going back. Second round, the only clue I can give per phrase is one word. So if in round one, I was like, oh, she starred on the Ellen show and she started with Brad Garrett, Jolly Fisher. Round two, I could just go like, Garrett, and you have to remember that it's Jolie Fisher. Round three is old school charades. And whoever wins, whatever team wins, gets to pick one person from the losing team to tell a mortifying, embarrassing story from their past. That actually has to be mortifying, embarrassing, and not like Alice. I missed it. It's my Tony. I don't even know where it is. I can't believe it. It has to be an actual <laughs> embarrassing story. Um, you get in trouble if you can't find your Tony. They get they come after you and yell at you. Wait a minute. Sounds too complicated. It's the most basic. We've been playing it for three weeks. You don't worry about it. You could just watch. Okay, here we go. Um, who is doing the first delicious round? Who wants to go first? All time. Wait, do we have to oh, remember our words? Do I have to remember the words I sent you? Oh, I forgot to explain this part. Here's the other part. You go to yeah. the private chat. So right now you're on comments, Jolie. Go to private chat and click private chat. That's where your clue is going to be. You see that line right there? That's so yeah, but I, I, uh oh, yes, I, bye bye. Oh no, <laughs> well, <laughs> is she on her phone? Dana, no. is she on her phone? Jolie did say she had trouble Wi Fi because there's 60 mile an hour winds. It'll just be you and me, uh oh, this and, and now it'll just be Paul and Steven. I mean, those two clunks, hold on, she's coming back. Oh, no, that'll be a problem if she has to do that. Don't make me get her understudy. Who's your understudy? Allison Metcalf? Jolie, I remember. what happened? One, two, three. Jolie. Jolie. I'm here. No, I'll be Lorna. <laughs> Lorna Shane. So, Jolie, do you see if you, if you click private chat, do you see uh -oh. your clues? I'm having a problem. With what, the internet? Yeah. Or just life in general? <laughs> chat. Okay, then I... Okay, I, I, when I go to private chat, you guys all go away, but I won't, I won't go away again. Oh, why wow, you want an yeah. iPad or something weird? Yeah, my computer is not being kind to me right now. Okay. So in your private chat, you just you can't see us, but you can hear us. I can. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So all go right. back to comments. You can only go to private chat when you're giving clues, or else you're gonna see all the answers. 
So go back to comments. Okay, so round one, who would like to go <laughs> first? Are we, are we going first? Team Tony's or team Hey Eugene? Anybody? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll go first. Okay, Jim's gonna go first. Jolie, while you still have Wi-Fi, let's start the guessing. Right, so I'm gonna second, go to private chat so I can't so I can't I see though. Okay, you're right. Jolie, you and I are guessing from James. Oh, and guess what, Stephen? David Cat set up a timer. Do you see that? I oh, think it's the yeah. other way around. Jolie's on my team. Oh, right. Julie, stop cheating. I don't like it. Alice, um, you're going to yeah. be guessing. Uh -huh, I'm ready. I'm, I was there waiting for my cue. <laughs> you were That's what she's she's Tony. That's Bring it up to the rear. Always an actress. Professional. So the good news is the timer, David's going to start the timer on Geneva. I'm going to say three, two, one, and the timer we're will go. We're becoming fancy. Um, okay, Alice, you ready to guess with me? Yeah, do we go to the clues now? No, you don't look at the clues. James is giving clues. We're going to oh, be guessing. Oh, okay, we guessed from James. Okay, got it, got it. So okay. that's all we know is he's giving a clue. What we don't have and to know words, what it's about. Or words, or... phrases, whatever. Begin with the letter. Begin e. with the letter E. Oh, okay. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. So how are we doing this with the time? I got it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. It's a phrase, a five-word phrase. Uh, not late, but early. Uh -huh. Early bed, early to rise. Uh, the last word is something. Early bird gets the worm. Yes. Early bird catches the worm. Okay. Um, oh, it's it's the it's the 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 character that Betty Buckley played. Edwin Drood. Yes. Um, you get kicked out of your apartment. It's, Evicted. Oh, Evicted. It's, it's a it's a word. It's a noun. Eviction. Evict. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Um, it's a study of insects. Etymology. Yes. Uh, it, you, it's where people if they sell crafts they go. It's a website. Etsy. Yes. Et uh, um, <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna skip that one. The the what? next one is uh, a, one. a country in the Middle East. Keep going. Where, where Ethiopia? Where um, is gonna do the Egypt. Cruise. Yes. Um, Egypt. The, the I'm like a half step behind him. A, a, movie, oh, right. a movie and a book. Two words. Um, it's uh, in a school. You get uh, what? Um, educating Rita. Yeah. Bad education. Educate. What? Very good. Oh my god. That wore me out, but very good. How many did we get, Mocha? Sarah. That was phenomenal. Okay, that was here's ridiculous. The, here's the words James. Well, I can see all the clues as he's saying it. It's right in front of me. <laughs> oh, what? I know. I yeah. figured you must be reading them. And these no are idea. good to remember for the next round. Early bird yeah. catches the worm. Edwin Drood, eviction, epidemiology, Etsy. etymology. Thank Wait, you. Wait, etymology, right? Yeah. Etymos, insects. And etymology. Wait. No. Did I say it wrong? I thought it was etymology. How is it spelled? Oh. How do you All say right. it? I, it's spelled E P I D, epidemiology. No. Epidemiology. Oh, epidemiology. epidemiology. What the hell is that? Who put that in? Epidemiology? That's not a word. It's epi How do you Ep say it? Oh, epidemiology? That? Epidemiology. Oh, wait, That's the study of insects. So we didn't guess it right. You should put it back in. Epidemiology. Okay. Whoever wrote it down, what is it? <laughs> it's a study. Isn't that the study of insects? Or no. Not? Oh, I got it wrong. No. So there you go. It's That's a study of epidemics. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, Jack. Okay. Moving on. He also got Etsy, Egypt, and right at the last second, educating Rita. So that's okay. five, right? Yeah. So we just didn't get epidemiology. Really? Okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, David, did you see that Special. comment? Because I forgot someone um, basically put the timer on the left if you can. And if you can't, then we'll ask Stephen or Seth to time. Why? Because it? on YouTube, it's on the bottom right, it says subscribe here. And so people can't see the uh, timer. Well, normally the right. people can't see the timer, though, anyway, because normally we're just looking at our phones. Well, I think it makes it fun. But we're saying if you can't put on the left, then <laughs> Stephen's going to start timing and he still can't see it. Um, well, no, because Stephen puts it up to the. Oh, to he the does screen. the lens thing? Yes. Oh, see? that. That always stresses that. me out. I think it's fun to see it. It's like, uh, like password. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so David, we'll see if you can do it. So, hey, Eugene, team. Hey, okay. Eugene, who would like to hey. get clues first? Uh, I'll go first. Okay, Paul Cash is going first. And we're guessing. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. By oh, the way, Stephen. Dr. Fauci is here. Thank God. Epidemiology: study of how disease spreads and the incidence of various medical problems. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. Well, that's by the way really embarrassing that we've hosted 300 shows and we talked to about. Wait, the I knew what it was when I I said it's a study of epidemics. No, I'm the idiot. Oh, okay. I'm saying myself. But you committed to it. I sure <laughs> did. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, I will time you. Well, David, am I timing? I can't tell. Wait, is, David, you can't use the private chat because that's where the clues are. So I guess I'm timing. Um. 
Okay, here we go. Clowns, you all ready? Paul, you ready? Yeah. Joel, you ready? On your yep. mark, get, I'm uh, sorry, three, two, one, click. Okay, this is one word, it's a verb. So when you get something all caught up in something and- Entangled? Uh, this is the, the painter of the, of the Scream, that famous painting, The Scream. Uh, oh my God. So, um, scissor hands. Edward, first, Edward, Edward, Edward uh, Hopper. Okay, when you're really, really hungry and because you've gotten stoned, you have the what? Munchies. Sort of. Shorter. Munch. Yes. Got it. Munch. Right. Okay, this is the movie uh, that with, with uh, Judy Garland and Fred Astaire. Ace of Parade. Yes. Uh, this is if you're a Christian and you try to get everyone to- Evangelical. Yes. Evangelist. Uh, right. Um, uh, this is the song that goes da 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 bum 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 bum. Everybody dance now. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> this is if you really just cannot stand something, it's a highfalutin word. What do you do with your food? E eat it. No. That was really good, Paul. That's it. Time, but that was really, really good. Okay. What? Um, I vote. I vote for the timer <laughs> back because I never show yeah, this to the camera. And some people are saying that they can see it. So, I, David, I'd put the the timer back up. So, Jack, how did Hey Eugene go? Very well. He got entangle Edward Munch. Easter parade, evangelical. Everybody dance now. Okay, wow, by the way, it's, game. it's Edvard Munch, but Edvard I'll Munch. I'll okay. appreciate the American Edward Munch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he an Annie? <laughs> no awareness. I love it. That's okay, funny. excellent. Good guessing. All right, Tony's. Tony team. Um, all right, I'll give clues. You want to give clues? Sure. Okay. All right. Alice Ripley, is your babushka your brain hat on? Just keeping the I brain. I think it's warmed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't guarantee anything. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so, David, we want the timer back. You ready, David? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. James, it's the British play that we saw about the um, uh, boy who wants to go and drag. Oh, oh, everybody loves Jamie. No, everybody, the second word. Oh, is, everybody. Is blabbing, is chatting. Oh, my God. Everybody. everybody Talk? Not speaking, honey. It's another oh. word. Talks. Yeah. Everybody. Talks. Jaren. Everybody talks to. Oh my God! You got the first word is plural. Everybody. Plural, honey. With with an. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Okay. Not the king. Not the king of England. The, oh, Queen Elizabeth II. Yes. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> this is this this is from outer space. It's a. Uh, oh, and well, not an alien. yes, not what another word that begins with an e. That's why there's an e. So, um. You're so um I want I want blank sauce on my whopper. I want oh extra, extra. yeah going extraterrestrial. From, yes, okay. <laughs> um she wrote um House of Mirth. She's a writer, her first name is Edith, Archie, Edith Wharton. Yes, uh, she played Bewitched. Oh, Elizabeth Montgomery. Uh, okay, I'm out. Uh, so just so you know, James and I saw that musical twice in London. Twice we saw it in London, yeah, and we talk about it all the, the time. Thing. Here's the thing: it's something. It's psychological. When, when I think when someone says, "Hey, Paul," and like right puts you on the spot, as if it's all on you, you know, it's it does it something to your brain. I'm this is like, called a tight <laughs> smile. Who you? Yeah, what I have right now. What I have right now is a tight smile. Yeah. It's just a line. Don't don't worry, honey. The, the honey, is for, uh, honey. <laughs> exactly. That's what you said to me. <laughs> I was trying to wait. Thank you, Carol. No, no one saw through. By the way, thank you, Carol. Leap. It's a Jaron. Thank you for appreciating my clue. All right. You know what? Just because some of us didn't get high scores on their SATs like you did. So. Sharon is not part of SATs. All right. And we go on. J Jack, how many did we get? Well, I think you ended up passing on the name of that British show. So you got Queen yeah. Elizabeth II, Extraterrestrial, Edith Wharton. And then did you get the name of the actress? Elizabeth Montgomery. Yeah. Elizabeth Montgomery. Yay. <laughs> Alice, are you able to hear what's. Uh... Yeah, I think you guys invited me so you could humiliate me. <laughs> Oh no! You're our favorite game player, Paul. Me, Paul, and James. Because I'm a split night. second behind everything that you're saying. I'm a split second behind you. I'm happy to be the one that everybody, you know, the the one that's the last one in line you're for the answers. It's a comedy, comic Alice, movie. I think I'm going to be I, competitive with you for that spot. I think that Edith Wharton, I would have not gotten that, but the rest of them, I'm like, I got to be honest. How did you get Edith Wharton? Because you're not a yeah, fan of Earth. I'm sure that it was. 
I, some and by the way, show. I don't think she even wrote The House of Mirth. <laughs> Did she write The House of Mirth? Mrs. Dalloway. Did she write that? Guys, can you back up? Oh, Let me ask our, our listener. Age of Innocence. Age of Innocence. I like how the listeners fact check for us. That's nice. I know. I'm asking listeners. Did Edith Warren write House of Mirth? All right, we'll go to the next thing and we'll find out. Oh, yes. I get. I got a yup from Julia. All right. Now we're up to Hey, Eugene. Yay. <laughs> Jolie, do you want to go? Jolie. I, I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to click on the chat and then you guys all go away. But look, I could try. Well, eventually you'll have to do it. Do you do you see me when I go like, like this? Yes, we still see you. Oh, you look, yeah. You look great. Okay. I don't see you guys. So where do okay, I we go can from? See you. Where do, where do I go on the list? Oh, you're going to give me more. It's underneath the line. Yeah, scroll to the bottom, and I've given you your first word. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know what that is. You can well, always pass. You can pass one. You ready? Pass. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's maybe first begin the game. Okay. Three, two, one, go. It's not just good. It's excellent. Yes. Um, uh um, from Annie's, uh, Dan, they do a song. It's called da da da. Easy Street. Yes, it is. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, uh, oh my God. Uh, his, <laughs> I can't think of a movie. Uh, um, can we pass? No, you already uh, passed one. Shit. Uh, my God. Just do, do it uh, word by word. Uh, uh, the importance of being. Ernest. Ernest Borgnine. He's an actor. Ernest Did Borgnine. Yes. yes. Uh, this is the study of viruses and, Ep and epidemiology. Epidemic. Epidemiology. Yes, uh, my fair lady, her name was Eliza Doolittle. Yes, that's it. Uh, it's 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 um it's oh I can't say the word. Uh, you, you uh, when you don't think about others, you think it's it's it's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's it, Joey, but that was great. That was great. I love that. The little time's up, people. That, that was, was really good. good. That was great. All right. Wake up, Alex. <laughs> Very good. You got you got excellent, easy street, Ernest Borgnine, a PD neology, and Eliza Doolittle. Nice. <laughs> hey. Very good. By the way, shout out to my friend Elizabeth Higgins from Oberlin is watching. Hi, Elizabeth. <sighs> okay. Alice Ripley, I'm so excited. It's your turn. Let's recreate that Rosie Cruz. And, and, and Julie <laughs> Fisher. I'm going to read the clues now? Yes, Jolie you go to Fisher private what? chat. Okay. Jolie so Fisher, I've got the same Art thing that Jolie I, has. I'll just, what was that? I saw you, Jolie, at Sally Bowles and Cabaret. You were wonderful. Love this game. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yes. So All right. Exciting. Okay. Maybe this time I'll get an, I'll get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll read the clue, right? So okay. I'm gonna when I when I click on the chat, I can't see you either, but I can still hear, so I'm, okay. I can go okay. for it, right? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna count you off. You ready, Alice Ripley? I'm Hold on three. to a sec. Let's see. Make Hold sure on, I'm not seeing any bottom. clues right now. The line. What'd you say, Jack? Make sure you scroll to the bottom. It's the word underneath the line. The words. okay. So I just see one. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. just one. Okay. Right now, this is one. Three, yeah. two, one. Go. Okay, this is a phrase that means you're on your own. Three Exit. words. How, two you're words? on your own. Give me more information. Um, when when you um save yourself. Every man for himself? No, every well, yes, but the first word is is um every... not two or three, but four. Not two or three. Each what? each to his own. Oh. There's only two words. Well, it's Just one pass. word. And you had it right, except it's not it's not um, every man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I, am I breaking the rules by doing that? Right, just, just skip, just pass yeah. it. Okay. Um, the next one is. Don't no two words. What? It. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. So the next one is um uh, that's two words, and the first word is not crooked, but straight, bent, bent. straight with an e, with an e. Oh, not crooked, but even. Right, and the second word is Spadero's name. Spadero's even name. Stephen. Even yes. Steven. Okay. So this is um painful to the point hold on, of hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You said it was a two word phrase. That you're on your own. Am I crazy? No, that's, that's three. I know. Yeah, so like that's three. my. Oh, I heard it too. That's why I was like, "What the uh, hell yeah. is it?" Oh, I'm sorry. What should ha yeah, what's yeah. happening? I can't see you guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go back. Go back to comments. Oh. Okay, oh, well, so what happened? 
I just thought it was a two word phrase. That's why I could not figure out what the hell it is. All right, Jack, what do we wind up getting? I think a solid well, one. I believe once your team member says a word and he they said every, you, you're you allowed to say every. So you could say it, but it, it's every. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It so wasn't every, yeah. He got every, everyone for themselves and even Steven. Okay. Everyone, everyone for themselves and even Steven. And Alice, not to feel left out. I saw Alice as Norma Desmond <laughs> in Sunset Boulevard and North Shore Music Theater. <laughs> oh, by the way, that's the kind of compliment. I know, I know where you're going with this. Compliment I can't. You and by, Paul. You, why don't you and Paul have a little. Well, it's not a compliment. Someone goes like this. I saw you in that show. Yeah. And then you're like, boy, you were really, you were really jumping around up there. <laughs> <laughs> you left it all on the stage. You know what they used to say when we, we would leave the stage door at the Rocky Horror Show? The audience would sometimes say, I actually liked it. <laughs> wow. I thought I had a great time. <laughs> wow. It's a great line reading. <laughs> I'm not making that up. You can't make these things up. No, <laughs> it's, you just, can't. <laughs> it's true. Ah, uh, this is what I want. I saw Allison next to normal in Crystal City, Virginia. Amazing. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I was there that day. Yippee. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Else. Hold on. Hey, Terry, Terry, who just made a comment, forward your receipt to donations at stars and house.com and write whatever you want to say. But you forward it, Terry, to donations at stars and house.com and then write what you want to say. And then Julie will read it because you got a donation in your honor, Julie, but I don't want to give it away. Okay, Stephen, oh. you're up. Steven, even Stephen. Um, tell us when you're ready, Stephen and Jack. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was a short term. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, and go. This this word is often used in conjunction with the word pain. You're in blank pain. Enormous. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a it's a extreme. No, it's along that line. I don't know. You guys have other ideas. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Lord, I can't get it. Just, uh, Enormous. Incredible. It, it, that's not an E. Uh, <laughs> there have to be other ways you use this word. Nope. Nope. This moment is excruciating. Mo there you go. That's it. Skip. Uh -huh. Pass. Um, uh -huh. four, words. four words. The first word is uh, inclusive of... Oh, uh, um, everyone, everything, physical. Every, what is everybody. everybody? Right. Everybody is speaking. Cut. <sighs> okay, just hey, that was amazing. B, if people don't know, we have a lot of private game nights. Paul's famous quote to Stephen, very uncomfortable, is "You're gonna have to pass." <laughs> and that always Stephen, happens. You're so awesome. <laughs> One of our favorite oh my quotes. God, you're making my night. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, just get okay, those words. I, I, I forgot to say. <laughs> That this is going to be on Series Six M, maybe. But if it has this many pauses, <laughs> they're going to be like, no you know way. what? No way. You know what? It's all good. All right, Jack. That's all right. We'll we'll make up for it. He got no. uh, excruciating, <laughs> and it was excruciating. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Okay, now we're back to uh, <laughs> me. Now okay. back to James Wesley. I have to say, here's here's I guess the good news. We're tied. Wait, it's I just went to your 11. page. Hold on. P okay, hold on. Here's okay. P. Dayton. Just FYI, on the bottom is the information how to donate. You donate at starsnouse.com, but if you got a receipt already from the Actors Fund, you forward the receipt to donations at starsinthehouse.com. There you go. Thank you, P. Dayton, and then we'll uh, and then we'll be able to read it. Dead air. <laughs> I didn't get a receipt. You had to have gotten a receipt if you gave your email. I love that everyone, so many people are donating. Terry, I love how organized you are. But if you if you donated at starsnouse.com, you get a receipt because you have to donate with an email. Unless you just left cash on your computer and you were like, <laughs> take it. And somehow, <laughs> remember, that, remember that bank when we were kids and the weird hand came out and then took it? I was like, love that. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm up. I, I was hoping by now we would be at one word. But no, if anything, no. <laughs> we're smack in the middle of. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, David, I'm going to put this on. Don't look. So I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, James. You ready? 
Uh, ready. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna Here we go. Time. Three, two, one, go. Um, time's up. Um, first word. I got it. it, it skip it. A uh, second word. The musical and London. Everybody's talking about Jamie. Okay. Um, it's what happens when the um, it can be either a mo a, the moon or the sun. Which, Eclipse. Yes. Eclipse. Um, you eat them every morning, Seth. Eggs. Uh, that was my word. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't know who this person is. Okay. It's two words. Uh, a woman. The first one is the the ant in Unbroken Circle. Emily Skinner. Edna. Yeah. A rule or something. Edna Ed Mule. A la. Mode. Edna Mode. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the next a woman um, uh, from uh, Evita, Patty Lapone Plater. Ava Perone. Yes. Ava, um, Ava Skinner. Start in it. Wait, who's Joe Jolie Jolie and Jack and Jack? Ellen. Yes. Um, it's four words. Oh. You're counting. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Elemental. Yes. Thank yes. You. Um, it's, okay. Oh my god. Go. Oh. Just put my up, trying to get that out in time. Yes. Yeah. Alice, that was amazing. You still got it. <laughs> Jolie, Jolie did indeed star on Ellen. Jack, I would not say you start on that show. Well, I would you say. Didn't no. get it when I said Jolie. I would say under five. I would not say. I would not say. Musical. <laughs> So James got James okay. Never James mind. got it. Everybody's talking about Jamie, Eclipse, Eggs, Edna Mode, Ava Perone, Ellen, Mini, Mini, Miney, Mo, and there's only two words left. So can I just do them? Yes. yes. But hold on. Who is Edna Mode? Yeah, who is that? She's the costume designer in that the um Incredibles? Yes. Oh. Oh. I love that character. So I'll just do the last two. Uh here okay, we go. Wait. Hey, David, put put Jack on a timer. He's a big know it all and thinks he's really good. But let's let's it's see how long he takes. <laughs> okay, we got one, three, two, one. Okay, go. this is a city and a state, and the first word is your team name from Greece. Eugene, Eugene Oregon. Oregon. Eugene Oregon. Right, and then the other one, Paul had a good clue, which was he was saying, "What do you do when you?" Achoo. Uh, Achoo, because that was my word. Yeah. That's the word. I was like, I've heard of it. What does it mean? Okay, I mean, you can't not know what that is. Get rid of it. You, everybody's talking about Jamie. You know what? You I know how to do it. Right, act. I don't know certain words. You know okay? Edith Wharton. You have a solid Edith Wharton oeuvre. I want to get in here. Deliberately avoid. Dog Thank alert. You. Dog alert. It's like yeah. the word expunge, but not that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, right. the idea. James and Seth eschew too much time together. <laughs> <laughs> The dog is eschewing your pillow on the couch right now. I know. <laughs> Made you look. I'm kidding. Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Didn't mean to scare you. That was excellent. Hey, Jack, I didn't even know. Do we, have, what, do we have photo palette cleansers or videos? Yeah, photo. Great. Right. Right. Um, you have whatever you want to do. Great. So everybody that's watching right now, Jack has found photos from high school productions. And by the way, Jack, it's finally happened. Somebody in one of the high schools was like, oh, my God. Colin Sheen, who did our Rosie Cruz, was like, that's my school. So just so we know, there are people watching that are actually in these productions. So Jack is taking photos of high school production musicals. We have to guess what that musical is. I'm going to describe it for our Series X and listeners. This is four people standing. There's a window hanging. They look like they're dressed in olden days, and it looks like they're in a house. Is it a musical, Jack? No. Tonight, I actually, most of the images are plays. I'm going to call out, come. I'm going to say Crucible. That's what I thought. A doll <gasps> Crucible? Yeah, it looks like a doll's house. Joni, what, what did you say? I said a doll's house. Oh, well, no, no, let's go back to it, and, and I'm going to give you a hint. You'll notice that they're at a dinner table, but some of the chairs have been pushed out of the way. Our miracle oh, worker. Yeah. Oh, this is County. No, no, Wait. it was Miracle Worker. It was, yes, Miracle Worker. Very good. <laughs> miracle Worker. Very nice. The water should be knocked over. You're right. The Wawa should be knocked over. Okay, next up, tip of the That's hat. Right. Wawa. The line in the show. Okay, this is people dressed like in the 80s, uh, looking very 80s club kids and maybe dancing, but it's not a musical? No. Is it Stupid Kids? No. It's a, it's a hard one. It's a musical. I'm sorry. I apologize. It definitely is a musical. Taboo? Taboo, yeah. I that too. Oh, okay, so here's, here's your clue. Uh, look at the pants he's wearing, what they seem to like look like. What, what period are those pants? You know what? This is a really hard one because I'm realizing it really doesn't look like 
the show. <laughs> Rock of Ages. Rock but it's of a Ages. musical that has uh, like doesn't that look like they're like he's a knight and those are like made of metal. Those pants. Yeah. Spam a lot. Yes. Something rotten. It's spam a lot. Spam a lot. All set spam a lot. The no? LGBTQ version. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 100. Okay, I say bravo. Now we're up to round two, right? Which yes. is simply one word clues. So we are the next. So we just it's James just it's went. You, James. I think it's me, and it's Paul. Paul is up. Okay, I just have to concentrate. And <clears throat> you always say you're going to have to pass. That's the signature line. It was, it was it was sort of friendly. You're going to have to pass, but it was filled with fury. No, okay. fury. I want to remind everybody that once you say the word, you can keep repeating the word, and you can say it in different ways. You can sing the word. Just don't use your hands. Don't use your hands. That's charade. But you can sing if you need to. Okay. Um, Polly, are you ready? Do you have your word? Um, yes, he does. Um, okay. Yeah. You ready? On your mark. I mean, three... Two, one. <laughs> Masticate. Issue. Right. <laughs> Christian. Evangelical. Evangelical. Good. So the chewing was great, and so was the arms. <laughs> um, <laughs> pass. Uh, pyramid. Egypt. Egypt. Yep. Uh, rental. <laughs> Evict. Eviction. Well, yeah. That head was great. You really just kicked that person out. Higgins. Higgins. Eliza, Eliza Doolittle. Right. Eliza um, Doolittle. Yes. Uh, Diana. Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Wow. Uh, uh, sorceress. Elizabeth Montgomery. Yes. Wow. Um, Jolie. Ellen. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Uh, Mars. Keep you keep uh, pointing. Extraterrestrial. Okay, a couple of notes. <laughs> if you had said that, use your hand. I wouldn't have done it. Okay, so here's the first. My head. First, it was as shoe. Then it was leave. <laughs> then, was, and then, and then, by the way, it was Elizabeth Montgomery. But I guess you're not allowed to say bewitched. You have to say sorceress. <laughs> It was a disaster of form. <laughs> of excruciating. You got a lot. You got a lot but Jack, what did Team Eugene get? Or hey, they, got, they got a skew, evangelical, Egypt eviction, Eliza Doolittle, Queen Elizabeth II, Elizabeth Montgomery, Ellen, and then was the, I think extraterrestrial, was that the word that he said too late? I said it. Yeah, but okay. you said it after the buzzer, by the way. We'll accept it. We'll accept it. We're going to accept it. There's so much cheating, we might as well just keep. <laughs> wow, nice. I've never used my hands more. Oh, your head. Leave. <laughs> okay. I think okay, it's, Seth, you're up. I think it's my turn. Okay. All right, Alice. Alice, okay. <laughs> and by the way, we're going to read uh, after this. Okay. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. Uh, three, two, one. Pain. Excruciating. Um, expression. Oh, shoot. Alice, help me. Expression? Expression. Emotion. I don't, I don't know if I heard this one. Okay. You actually were on the team that was guessed. All right, anywho. Um, sorry. Um, planets. Extra oh, Eclipse? Yep. Oh, um, um, Spadaro. Steven. Even Steven. Yep. Um, a la oh Edith Mode. Mm -hmm. Um <sighs> not Edith. Oh, not Edith. It's sorry. Not, oh, oh, Edna, Edna. Mode. Thank um you. God. Film. Film? Yeah. Uh okay. I have no idea. Film. Expression. Um how can I say this? Ex Espr expression. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Why bye-bye? Time's up. Time's up. Oh, I love Alice's expression. Uh-huh. Okay, can you get a question? question? Uh, are, you, okay. are you allowed to use words that were used in the first round or not? Most do. 
And that's oh. why when the person gave me a clue and said, this is an expression, we right. guessed it the last moment. Okay, go, Jack. You got it. You got excruciating eclipse, oh. even Stephen Edna mode. Let's focus on excruciating because that's excellent. <laughs> when everyone finds out what we've been working on and they realize how exhausted I am, they will not be on Seth's side for being not We're nice. We're both to me. working on it. I know, but I'm nice to you. But when I you don't want to do it. You don't want to do this stuff right now. You okay. may want to stop. It'll be like overboiling, simmering. Merit. It won't be simmering. Oh, it ends with actual death. It'll actually end with a divorce <laughs> decree, and I'll do it on a live stream. Okay, continue. You guys are like Daisy and Violet. You should do Leave Me Alone right now. Leave Me Alone. Learn that song and sing it together. It's Why Won't You Leave Us Alone. We have to do the chairs, though. No, I we need to move on. Thank you. Okay, go, please. I'm, I'm going to cut off. Is it Who's, me? Uh, no, it's... So Oh, wait, Joe. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to my chat and I'm going to leave you guys for a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where's the line? I don't see it. Oh, okay. That's a Joe. Joe, you ready? Um, okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Teaching. Right. It's educating Rita. Yes. Um, counting. Accounting or any mini mini mo. Yes. Very um, good. Me. No hands. What'd you say? Sorry. Me. 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 Ellen. Ellen? No. Um, uh, can I give another can I give another word? Yeah. Can, no, no, but you can pass. Yes. Okay, pass. Shopping. Shopping. Oh, Etsy. Yes. Great. Super. Uh, excellent. Yes. Um, uh, uh, eggs. Eggs. Ah. Jolie, that's well, so well, good. But good, Jolie. Jolie, Jolie, have you ever done like the like game shows, like Password or anything? You're really good. Giggle, giggle. I, <laughs> I think so. I don't feel like I am. Hey, by the way, I, I think did that Hollywood I, game night. I, it was terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, well, that's why sure. was it terrifying? <laughs> the pressure. But they like shoot things in your face if you don't get the answer right. Oh. Like popcorn and shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hey, um, Julie, I think you got a donation. <gasps> no. Yeah. Yeah. I think David said, yeah. yeah, I think David texted you to a donation to read. Mm. Texting me on my phone. Yeah. Email? Where? Where would it be? On your text? on your rotary phone. That's what's weird. No, I th think he texted you. <laughs> exactly. I think he texted you. Okay, I'll look. All right, I'll look too. I don't see it. It says two e actually email. Looks email? Like. Oh, I'm so sorry. Or no, I don't know. Wait. David, David, David can just come on and tell. That may be okay, something. Else. I have it on. I have it on an email. I have it on an email. There we go. Okay. Great. What do I do? Do I, do I read it? Yes, that'd I be great. It guys. Okay. Yes, read it to everybody. Terry, Terry gave twenty five dollars in honor of my uncle John, my dear friend, or his, Terry's dear friend John Megna, who is my <laughs> uncle. And because I am so grateful that I got the COVID vaccine today. Oh, wow. Great. I got the vaccine. <laughs> and my Uncle John, just for uh, probably you guys don't know, but my Uncle John Magna was Dill in To Kill a Mockingbird, the little boy. Uh, oh. And he died of AIDS in 1995. And he was very, very dear to me. John Magna. Oh, oh, that's so lovely, man! Donation. What's I think you Thank have you one Terry. more. I, think. I don't think so. Oh, I thought you said you got two. I, I don't know. I oh, okay. To to something else. Okay, great. So that was a personalized one too. That's why you yeah, had to read it. Very nice. Okay, so now we're up to oh, team. Wait, wait, wait. I just see another one. I see another one. Okay, great. Oh my god! Wait a minute. I have two more. Oh, Nell great. Oh. From Baltimore. Nell from Baltimore gave twenty five dollars. I'm one of the many watching and donating for Jolie Fisher tonight. Thank you for all you do and the great memories of Key Largo at the Geffen. We love you, Jay Mama. And one more. 
Pamela from New York City, $51. I don't know where I would be without the Actors Fund after I lost everything in a fire and had no work. They arranged for food stamps, Medicaid, a subway card, and even a bed. Oh my God, I have chills. Uh, after I moved back into a repaired empty apartment after six months, and that was right before the pandemic started. Bless wow. them and you, Seth and James, for bringing laughter and love into our homes for all these many months. You have a place in heaven guaranteed. Aww. Aww. Bless you, Pamela. We love you. That's a, wow. so many great actress fun stories. It's always it's always chilling to hear them because they're, yeah. they're always beautiful. Wow, that was great. Yes. Nice okay. reading. Thank you, everyone. Um, we are up to one word. Is it I think it's our turn? I think it's I think it's Alice. Wait, I just Alice Ripley. You're you're in the one word round. Okay. All right, I'm so gonna disappear. Don't forget you can sing if it's appropriate. The one word you're allowed to sing. Okay, so this is okay. Before the line, correct? After the line. After. Tell us when you're ready and we'll count. No, just one word, right? Yeah, so Man. choose okay. carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Movie, um. <laughs> I'm Sound just keeping it one word. It was such a good movie. Scene. I don't know. Am I allowed oh, to keep movie. going? Da, da, yeah. da, 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 da. In your Easter Did parade. You oh, Easter parade? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I didn't even know that was a clue. Buckley. You can't do that, but Buckley. Oh, Be sorry. Betty. Oh, <laughs> Evan Drew. Yes. Oh, <sighs> those begins with punctual. Oh. oh, early bird catches the worm. Breakfast. Eggs. Eggs. My signature. Um, um, cruising. Al Pacino. Um, cruising in a car. Cruising. <laughs> Simple. Can I give another word? No, you can't. You only have one word. Okay, cruising. <laughs> oh, time's up. Oh, oh my sure. God. Wait. Uh, Wait. Uh, I still, too is, late. It, is it because we're on the Rosie Cruise? I, I don't know. I don't know. That was really fun. That That's that it. Was. You can't pass. Time <laughs> turns <laughs> over. It was 20 minutes later. Pass. Oh, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got Easter Parade, Edwin Drood, Early Bird Catches the Worm, and the Eggs. Yeah. Yeah. It's too weird to not see your, like when I'm giving you the clues to not see your response, but I just kind of. I know it's gonna be really. I felt like I kept breaking the rules, like you're not supposed to s say it more than once or say more than one. But I'm next time, next game show, it's gonna be perfect for me. No, <laughs> I feeling. Bring back rosy memories. Wait, wait a minute, I don't know <laughs> how many Jolie got. How many hey Eugene? Yeah, how many did Shoot. Hey Eugene get? Because actually, we just saw the notes here. Someone just wrote them down. Oh, thank goodness. Um, I saw someone was very very organized. Uh, hold I, on. I'll read them. I have it here. Okay, okay. Go, Jack. Well, she may have passed one of these, but uh, it says educating Rita, Eeny. Oh no, you didn't get that one. Oh, everyone, she, she yeah, got okay. that Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Yes. Everyone for themselves. Etsy. Excellent. No, not everyone for themselves. Okay, then Etsy, and then maybe excellent. Yeah. Yes. How many is that? Okay. How many was that? Four. 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 You're going to have to pass. Okay. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now it's team oh, team. Hey Eugene, it's very very close. So you guys, you got to step it up, or else we'll have to. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Stephen, bring it home. We'll see. Stephen, are you ready, dear? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Annie, Easy Street. Saying. Uh, early bird gets the worm. Everybody, everyone for themselves. Right. Uh, Argentina. Ava Perón. Ava Perón. Musical. Edwin Drood. Oh. Um, Evita. Uh, musical. I don't remember. Pass. Uh. Pacific. Pacific. Ocean? Pacific. 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 
That's going to have back half. Half. <laughs> You're going to. Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Not good. Not and good. cut. <laughs> oh, my God, Stephen, you're so funny. Oh, uh, all right. Jack. <laughs> Easy street. Everyone for themselves. Ava Perone. Okay. That's better than none. Wow. <laughs> Team Tony's 26. Hey, Eugene, 27. I'm freaking wow. out. It's my Jimmy, fault. Are you giving I'm going. All right. How many can I look at? <laughs> well, it's right there. Right, you're not looking, are you? No. Okay. Mandy, honey, stop oh, let me upstaging go down me. All the way. Stop upstaging me. Okay. Oh. Um. All right. Uh, are Jack, you ready? Well, yeah. Or who? Uh, Here, I count to in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Um. That's her dog. <laughs> Mandy, shut up. Uh, musical. Oh God! I didn't know what it was when he um, said that. Okay. Can you sing it? Can you sing a song from it? No. Um. Okay. Um. Pass. Uh. Buckley. Edwin Drood. Yeah. Edwin Drood. Oh, hold Stop. on. Hold on. You're oh. in the wrong place. I am on the wrong. I did a Seth thing. That what he's done. Wait a minute. <laughs> don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I'm getting blamed. No. 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 We no. Have to start over. He was start over. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. All right. I'm ready, David. Three, two, one, go. All right. I'm still gonna pass the first one. Second one. <laughs> um. Oh, that's what. Okay. Um, <laughs> city. Eugene, Oregon. Yes. Um, <laughs> artist. Oh, Edvard Munch. Yes. <laughs> Science. Epidemiology. Yes. Epidemiology. Oh, British. Queen, Queen, Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth II. British. Keep going. Uh, Everybody's talking about Jamie. Yes. Oh, oh, man. Oh shit! I can't believe I said that, man. Anybody? Man, <laughs> man. Oh wow! I don't know, but it's working for me. Man. <gasps> Elaine Stritch. Everyone for themselves. Everyone for themselves. Man. I cannot believe I got that as a clue, man. Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't know. Go. Maybe. Uh, wait, can you pass anymore? No. Go back to the first one. You're gonna pass. Oh jeez. Go back to the first one. Um. Hair. Oh. Time's up. Uh, I cannot believe I gave man as a one word clue. <laughs> like, man was a famous clue on the ship. Uh, Wait, man was a famous clue and the Rosie Cruz? Yes. You're right. <laughs> it was from him. You're it right. Was. Yes, he said man, and we all freaked out. You're totally right. And that's what Alice made fun of me in the most loving, fun <laughs> way. That's right. What does that mean? It's your go to. It is You're his right, signature. Paul. Wait, but it's <laughs> literally the first time he's not there. What? And I have not done it since, since that cruise, which was like that game. 10 so years ago. What that was meant to be. That there was you hilarious. Go. It's okay. genetic. It going, man, like you're trying to find right. it. Yeah. We did pretty good, though. Yeah, you yeah. got Eugene Oregon, Edvard Munch, epidemiology, and uh, everybody's talking about Jamie. And there's right. only four left. So the next oh. person, we might have to put a button in the time. Um, not worried about that. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Wait, sorry. How very dare you? <laughs> well, don't forget, Paul. This is charades and one word combined. And then after well, this, we're going to do our medical break. <laughs> leave. Okay. You're okay. Right. <laughs> what if Are I you... was like, leave in my. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and you're fully. <laughs> like Julie Andrews. <laughs> yes, yes. Victoria. <laughs> and it's the same hairstyle. <laughs> She's amazing. You, you know the reveal was going to come at some point, guys. I uh, love it. The um, reveal. Right. Are you uh, are you ready, team? Hey, Wait. Yes, right. I'm ready. Go, okay. team. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Man. Poseidon. Ernest Borgnine. Oh, my God. Of course. I, I should have guessed that, though. I think maybe and Mesh. Yeah, Entangled. <laughs> um... Song, song, song. Everybody song. dance now. <laughs> um, novelist. <laughs> Edith Wharton. Yes. There you go. You saved Good, 32 seconds. All right. I don't know if David's able to stop. Yeah. That, so maybe. Okay. So Seth, you'll. Well, oh, do you want to do the 32 second charades to begin round three? I could do I can oh, time you right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to the okay. So break. Paul gets 32 seconds to do round three. 
Um, so Paul, so Jack, is he ready with the next one? Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> Am I? Paul needs room. Oh wait, what's happening? <laughs> we have to get up. Now, get move away, Paul. Paul is starting charades, and then we're. Gonna... <laughs> how many, Seth? How many words can I say? How many? Oh yeah, as long as you speak during charades and you're following the Paul Castry rules. Okay. Okay. <laughs> On your mark. Are you ready, Polly? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Three. Two, one, go. One word. One word. Eclipse. Yes. Uh, yes. Extraterrestrial. Um. Okay. One word. One word. Epidemiology. Yes. Epidemiology. Yep. One word. One word. Excruciating. Um, yes. Excruciating. Yes. Okay. Um. One word. Woman. Elizabeth Montgomery. Yes. Time. Uh, that was excellent. Uh, oh, uh, Jeannie. I know. I gave Jeannie too. <laughs> yeah. You're a sorceress. I, oh, saw, oh, I was like Barbara Eden. What? John mm. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth Montgomery was genius. Yeah. Alex okay. Ripley. Thank you. <laughs> Next to normal is one of the few musicals we my my family to channel Seth is obsessed with and we saw it's one of the few musicals i saw more than i saw it three or four times wow oh my gosh highly unusual for me <laughs> it's, i think it was an important musical it was it was it was great and you were astounding in it so thank you thank you so much yeah Aww, we love our yeah. alice Okay, all you clowns, take a break. We're talking to an epidemiologist. Okay, one. <laughs> how did you get epidemiologist? Wow. That's, well, because it's you the third round. You don't want to know how bad I did on that word. And I'm like, I cannot believe. He was like, been. the study of insects. And I was, etymology. Like, and he was like, correct. I'm tired. Even if he's reading. It's been a long yeah. four years. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to get you everywhere. It's been a long 12 years to be married. Um, all right, Dr. LaPook, um, any updates for our general public? Yeah. Um, hasn't even hit the air yet, but because they're cutting it right now. But um, I interviewed Monsef Slawi, the head of Operation Warp Speed, today. It's kind of because you know he's um, he's handing off to the to the Biden administration, and he told me a bunch of really interesting things. The best thing is, in terms of positive, that he said that in the very near future, um, there's going to be a million doses a day available from Moderna, a uh, plus another million doses a day for Pfizer. That's two million doses a day, plus maybe another one or two million from Johnson & Johnson, plus if it's uh, approved eventually AstraZeneca Oxford. So we're getting to the point where there really could be enough supply to meet the demand. Of course, right now, I talked to him at length about the fact that you know it's like, what, 30 million doses have been delivered and 12 million are in people's arms. And there are all sorts of reasons for that having to do with communication problems. And um, But I spoke to the people who run the state uh, uh, health department for California. And here's the explanation for all you people out in California who are in Los Angeles County who, who got an appointment and then they canceled it. The way that they are doing it in California is that health professionals go first. So... But the density of health professionals per area, per county, is different. It's higher in Los Angeles County than, say, in a nearby county. So while in Los Angeles County, they have not yet gotten through healthcare professionals, so they haven't gotten to the elderly people, right. miles away, they have, and they're, they're to 65 and above and, and 75 and above very frustrating so that's leading to a lot of mischief people going to other areas and all sorts of things they've got to federalize the process to a much greater extent they can call audibles on a local level but they've got to have a database i asked about the database can't you guys follow what's going on he said yes only up to the state level and then there's a lag between how long it takes for them to update the the uh the database so he said there actually may be another million doses that have been given that we don't even know about. When do we, did, did he give you a time frame as to when it will really heighten, you know, to he, that level? He, he said he thinks that 
Um, by June, every American who wants to have had a, a vaccine will have gotten it. They're okay. vaccinated. Um, and if you're talking about three or so the, in terms of the uh, couple of million a day, uh, a day yeah. he said very soon. In fact, after this, I'm texting him to say, can you give me an exact date? Yeah. Yeah. I meant to do that before I came. But he said like very, very shortly, we know that Pfizer is definitely hugely mm -hmm. increased. We said the other day from 1.3 to 2 billion doses a year, another billion from Johnson and Johnson. And I really am worried about developing countries I spoke to somebody who just came from Nicaragua who they don't have any vaccine practically. So, you know, we're scrambling around for, we think by June we're going to have it, but what about the developing uh, countries, uh, the people who don't have the money? So that's where the Johnson and Johnson one shot vaccine is going to be important. So John, I have one last question um, regarding Australia because, you know, they've gotten the virus so under control there, as Seth was saying, it's like, you know, they've opened up theaters uh, tours like safely. Are going on, like safely, not like the West End where it's like we're open, we're closed. Like they're they're they, able to open they up. They clearly now. got it together. How are the? Do you know how they're doing down there, vaccine wise? I don't know what the vaccine effort is, but they did so much better in New Zealand, of course, in terms of just right. mitigation efforts. I was that, just curious like, how they had because they did the first part really well. Yeah, how they're doing the rollout of I, vaccine. I have to look that up. I don't know how much vaccine they they've gotten, uh, but. Uh, you know, clearly, I can tell you this, I'm, I've leveled with everybody from the very beginning. I'm worried about this, um, the new strains, because the one for Great Britain is, in fact, they're saying about 50% more contagious, not more deadly. But if it's more contagious, then it's going to be the one that's going to become the predominant strain by March, they're saying. So that means the metronome just picked up and we've got to get this vaccine out quickly. And that means no nonsense now anymore, no, no miscommunication. Right. Um, one last thing that Monsef Slowey said that was really oh, so frustrating. He said that I said, why weren't they ready on a local yeah. level to do all this? Why didn't they have simulations and drills and all that? And he said, well, he wonders if they really believed that the vaccine was going to be ready so quickly. He said part of it was, wow. you know, they were being a little vague in Operation Warp Speed because they didn't remember President Trump was pushing. It's got to be before the election. And they, they were saying, look, we're gonna, we don't know. It just depends. depends. How, when when there are enough cases that we can do the, the math and the statistics. So maybe they just, you know, I, I, there's really no excuse for it. They should have just assumed the vaccine was coming. And anyway, now that it's here, all hands on deck, it should be being given 24 seven. And if, and if there's, a, if there's more vaccine, uh, the, the fact that there's millions of doses, tens of millions of doses on shelves is mind blowing. So yeah. anyway, we got it. Hopefully this new, uh, administration will turn things around. Yeah, my mom's due for her second dose in like a week. Really exciting. Yeah, it's just I'm very excited. Oh, um, tomorrow, you know, tomorrow is a week after my second dose of Pfizer. So officially tomorrow, I should be 95% protected. And even if the 5% chance that I would get it, I shouldn't get. You know, those people aren't getting very sick. So tomorrow. By the way, you're huh? still, you're still though wearing a mask and social distancing. Hundred percent, because we don't know whether I can be a carrier asymptomatically. So until we know that, we still do belt and suspenders and everything else. Okay. Tomorrow is the beginning of the next. Uh, I'll, I'll be on CBS around nine thirty in the morning doing a little debrief with Nora about uh, coronavirus. Oh, great! And we're not doing the show tomorrow because we're gonna all be watching the inauguration festivities. So we'll see you hopefully Thursday. See you Thursday, guys. Okay, Thank bye. you, Doctor Lapook. Bye. bye. Okay, we do a little palate cleanser. Oh, oh, Donald Young says Australia begins vaccine in in February. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and that's the amazing thing, and it's sad is like they don't even have if they're not even starting the vaccine yet, and yet they're able to open because they did it right in the beginning. But it's a it's a it's a new dawn so we'll uh, carry on with the game yes and, um what are you doing so you're looking for no i was just there? wondering where this person is our vaccine second corp i don't know who what our means where i right. guess i don't know that means. sorry aaron will yeah aaron clarify what that means it says dot nz which is new zealand oh my god yes. our vaccine second quarter 2021 but there's no virus spread in our community and border Quarantine remains tightly controlled wow amazing you're watching new zealand what the hell time is it there all right it's the morning is it love? It's okay, please welcome back. First of all, what does that mean? Alice Ripley's in stream of the audio. There she, oh, there she is. One, two, three, Alice Ripley, Victor, Victoria. <laughs> oh, 
nice of John. I was just, you know, just on the sidelines waiting for my cue. Uh, As usual. That was so nice of John. Uh, he's and he he I don't know. We've we've had a lot of guests. He, it's not like he loves musicals, but I don't know if I've heard him say that before. Yeah. It's like he really he really meant it. He doesn't compliment our guests like that. That was that was a big deal. <laughs> um now unfortunately we have a very special guest. We have Paul Castry's eye. Oh, scary. That's what Paul does all the time. Very scary. <laughs> it's the scariest game night, old chestnut. And then, of course, we have the lovely Jolie Fisher. Hi, Jolie. And we have our, oh, unfortunately, Alice Ripley. I think your hat is, tra oh, it's attacked and killed Jack. Hollywood. Oh, Jack, Jack. <laughs> My I'm cat like is just taking a nap in this hat. Ah, wait. This is Babushka. I ate Jack. <laughs> It had a child. Now, by the way, we have Jack and Jolie together, and we wanted to tell you all that they were both on the same show. We have Jack's oh, first yeah. first appearance from the Ellen Show when he was Jolie's assistant. Jack, here you are back in the day. Your hair is much shorter, but I love I love this scene so much. This is Jack on the Ellen Show back in the day. If you haven't watched this with me, you're gonna love this. Paige Clark's office. Ms. Clark, are we in for Dylan Richler? All righty. Hey, Barrett. Sign in, please. It's me, Ellen. Oh, sure. First name last, last name first time in and destination. I'm going to Paige's office right here, the only office here. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 those were the days oh my gosh rob uh -huh. benson really taught me robbie benson uh, directed that episode and he taught me how to act in a sitcom literally that was my second take and after the first take he was like no not funny um <laughs> No, he was he was really nice. He, I love Robbie Benson. But basically, like in the 15 seconds we have before the next take, he helped explain like like you gotta do more, you gotta go for it. And he he said, you know, maybe sing your line. And then it was like action. And uh it really wow. taught me so much in that very brief moment. And Jolie was always so absolutely wonderful to work with. And I miss you, honey. And it was just I adore great you. Day. And uh, was the rest of that. Jack, the rest of that episode is that I that I'm a studio executive and you work with me and the movie gets greenlit and, and Carrie Fisher is in the, in the movie. So it was like a really important show to me and I'm I watched a clip of it recently and I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, it was an amazing episode. Joe, here you are being annoying with Ellen. It's right after that moment. Uh -oh. Hi. Hi, I am So uh, Joel wants to see a script, and if Michelle's a yes, then we powwow with Alex at Spago's, okay? <laughs> so what's going on? Ellen, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were... Um, nothing, I'm hungry, you wanna go? Oh, you know what, I'm expecting a call, so I asked Barrett to bring lunch in for us, is that okay? All righty. <laughs> as long as we get to spend time together. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Hey there, you too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so annoying. That's classic. Oh, that's that's amazing. amazing writing, Julie. It's amazing. Julie, you're, first of all, you look amazing. You're hilarious. And Jack, that's a total tip of the hat to the Carol Burnett, the first class in the in the yeah. airplane. You know where there's like oh, a yeah. class when you slam down the sandwich. That is very much like that sketch. Yeah, that was a dream, a dream show to to to. Oh, look, kitty cat. Wait, where? <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> Alice's kitty is. <laughs> That's tomorrow's babushka. Oh, just kidding, <laughs> little angel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work in that cat joke somehow. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think it's Paul's turn. Oh, no, Paul's, Paul just went. Paul oh, Paul's did charades. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, I think it's mine. I don't like charades. I think it's my turn, right? Because you. Oh, wait a minute. How many? So it was four plus. What did they get for the charade section? Because I had to go Should get broccoli. We, Paul, you got a lot for charades. What did you get? Because Jack has, James has put it down. Oh, I think I got four in charade. I think I got. Yeah, he got four. Eclipse, epidemiology, excruciating, and Elizabeth Montgomery. 
Whoa, they got eight total in that Jack, round? Jack, what was, what was the second word you just said? Mm, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, ladies, don't forget <laughs> you rage. You can do, you know, movie. This is a this is play TV. You don't want to forget, you know, sounds like. So I use just, all that. I just don't want to. I just don't want to be stuck acting out Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> Maybe you do. He married Ethel Merman. Okay. Okay. I you think it's right. that one. Whose turn? Is I think it's my turn. Oh, your turn. It okay, was great. right because you went last time. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Do I do I do the standing off camera? Our signature. Hi, Julie. Um, are you gonna watch? I'll watch. I'll watch from here. <clears throat> okay. I'll, I'll try to do it without standing. We'll see. Okay. Um, let me scroll all the way to the bottom. No, it's not fifteen. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay. Um. Three. Two, one, go. Two words. Two words. Zipped up. Uh, slick back. Sing musical. Musical. Oh, slick. Oh, Edwin Drake. Yes. Oh. Um, okay. So, no, sorry. Um. Play. Play. Four words. Second word is. Oh, everybody's talking about James. Yeah. Everybody's talking about James. Okay. Um. Dead. Uh, Cross, um, yeah, cross, and, uh, yeah. Alice, help me out. Can you see him? X cross. Evangelist. Yeah. Basically. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> evangelical four words. Yeah. Three words. Okay. Um, oh, uh, everybody for themselves. Everybody yeah. Uh, yeah. for themselves. That's three words. Um, One word. Extra. Oh, time's up. What was that? Did you know that last one? What I was doing? Did anybody know no. what I was doing for the last uh -uh. one? Okay, I won't give it away. Four. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make myself big. Okay, I'll do that for the next one. Oh, I thought David was. No, I do that. Oh, Whose okay. turn? He's doing the timer. Oh, okay. Um, Stephen or Paul or Joel's? Paul already went. Joel's. I'm, ter I'm terrified. I'm terrified. You know I'm what? I'm just gonna say it now. I'm terrified. Okay. Yeah, you get, oh. get it out. Yeah. Okay. How did that happen? Okay. So I'm going to the chat. Yeah. We're, so you won't be able to see away. anybody. Okay. Are you ready, Philly Fisher? Okay. So it's, whatever's uh, below the line. Three, two, one. Shiraz. One word. Uh, Ellen. Ellen. Yes. Uh. Um. Uh, two words. Okay. Uh, 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 Edith Wharton. Yes. Very good. Um, one one word. word. Uh, oh, you're, uh, um, yeah. you're typing? No. Uh, one word. Sorry. Second, two si second syllable. Yeah, two syllables. Yeah. Look. See? Yes. C. Okay. No. Oh God. Okay, first syllable. Uh oh my God. Etsy. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Two oh, words. Wait, no, no, no. Three. Sorry. And oh, time's oh, up. Oh, that was good. That was you really good. Yay. That was good, Joel. Yes. That was good. Oh, it's like all right, Jack. She got uh Three. Three words. Okay. Sorry, guys. That's I three says charades is really hard. Charades can be one or zero. <laughs> yeah, okay, is Team Tony's is 34 and hey Eugene 38. Al should please show us your mask training. Okay, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why that. Well, because she's like an actress. Uh, hi Sorry. bagel. There was a request <laughs> to see you tonight. Hi, Bagel. Aww. Bagel's here, and so is Mandy. Big one on the couch. Hold on, wait. We gotta put big on the couch. Big, what do you sniff? Right. Okay. Um, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Two, two words. words. Second yeah. word. Pass. Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> Eugene, Oregon. Three words. Okay. Oh, uh, dance! Song. Everybody, dance now. 
One word. Eclipse? Not eclipse. Extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial. Wow. Two words. It's a movie. movie. Oh, Educated Rita. Rita. One word. Ellen. Um, knock, knock. Wait, I can't really see it, what's happening. You're handing. Uh, wait, it's two. Eschew. No, no. excruciating. Excellent. Pass. No, I can't pass again. Um, You're banging something. God. Oh, eviction. 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 Oh, yay. yay! That was so good. You that can't... That's good, That's good. Alice. All right. You are banging up the eviction. Notice. You guys got eviction. Good job. Four. Four. That was really good. I've been through that moment. It was sense memory for me. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You should have called the actors fun. <laughs> I'm going to. What's the number? I'm Afterwards, I'll do it. I'm they were literally to. banging at that moment. Okay. <laughs> um, I got it. Okay. It's uh, our turn. I think it's I mean, no. It's hey I know Eugene. it's it's Hey Eugene. And it was it's Spadaria. Yeah, it's Come on, Steven, bring us home. How many words we have left, Jack? Uh, I guess twelve. I can't tell. Oh, you'll know. get it. You can get them all, Steven. Okay. The three seconds per word. <laughs> okay. On your mark. Maybe they'll. I'm do sorry. It. Three, two, one. Yeah. Two words. A woman. Two words. Ava Perel. Elizabeth Montgomery. Two words. A woman. A singer. Vibrato. Eliza Doolittle. Yes. Right. Uh, oh, so good. Uh, two words. Two words. A man. Chew. I don't know what that is. Chewing, <laughs> eating. <laughs> a man. Ernest Borgnine. Ernest Borgnine. Dentures. What first word? Oh, Munch. Edward Munch. Yeah, oh. you got it. Edward Munch. Triangle. House. Roof. Are we still doing that, man? No. no. <laughs> that was Edward Munch. He's moved on. Roof. Triangle. I know what it is. Do this a few more times. <laughs> But Paul, it's very obvious what he's doing. So you know what? Do do it more times. Steven, brava. I support you. But it was so much. It was like, no, 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 no. Paul, where do you see things <laughs> with those shapes? And that's why Steven Paul and friends for my Paul. Just like in game playing. I support Steven in his clue giving. Uh, all right. Jack, how Steven many words? Three. Oh, maybe it wasn't so good. Okay. Oh, I thought they could. Yeah, good. Okay. It was zero. A lot of guesses, but three correct answers. Okay. okay. Well, there were a lot of Who's going, James Wesley? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow, the lighting is great. It All right. Better. Are we ready? Um, you tell me. Okay, don't look. Okay. I think we both need haircuts or else our hair looks amazing. Yes. I can't decide. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, who's timing or who's doing the... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I counted in. Three, two, one. That's what I said. Oh. Egypt. Oh, the pyramid. Um, excited. excited. Uh, oh, excruciating. Wait, uh, there's another thing? Ex oh, extraordinary? No. Excellent. Excellent. Sorry. Um, of course, I need that. Two words. Two words. Over there. It's two words, but it's something over there. Um, two words. Uh, Forget it. Uh, no, I think we did it. A song or a singer. Ava Perone. Two words. Um, Two words. Straight. Drive. Walk. Run. Everybody. Wait. Uh, it's a song with running. Okay. First word. Easter parade. First word is positive. Uh, it's a song. Uh, uh, oh my god. Is it a song? Uh, okay. It's a song. Is it a song or a singer? <laughs> what? That was too high. Two song. <laughs> Time. Oh my God! I think I got two, Jack. Wow. Let it float. Let it float. I, I, I move up. Can you tell? <laughs> she just started singing randomly. <laughs> I gave up. Can you tell? All right. Yes. 
We could tell. I was really thinking I was doing an imitation of an imitation of somebody. Wait, by the way, on a side note, I said, I think we both need haircuts unless we look great. And then it was just this. Wait, <laughs> James's hair looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about both. All right, I get it. Go on. Seattle, Susie, we cannot have two passes per turn. I, I, it's gotta always be one pass. I think that's, I think that's. We only do things fair. differently in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> when we were in, when we were on the cruise, is that what you mean? Oh no, because she's reaching Oregon. Yeah, but they're from Seattle. You know how they are up there, a little. Oh, Seattle! I'm such an idiot. Why would I'm you know? I'm saying I, I hear things are different up there. More <laughs> easy going, more laid back. Two passes. Yeah. You know. Oh, uh, hold on. It's pronounced Munk. What did I say? It's pronounced Munk. Munch. All right. So, uh, what's Munch, up? I think you said Eddie Munch. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to say right. Munch on purpose, and I hope he hears it just to piss him off. I think it's my turn. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? That was almost a swear word. It's all good. Talk Ashley. Catch it over. Make fun of me. Yeah. Okay. So Come don't on, forget. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> on your mark, get set, go. Woman, a woman? No. No. Yeah. singer, songwriter, Ava Perone, evangelical, evangelical, no, sing, pass, <laughs> you know, you get the walk in. Pass. eggs, eggs. Um, yes. Uh, Easter Parade? Yes. Uh, issue. Issue, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a, it's, um, what's happening? Early bird gets a worm. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Eugene, Eugene Oregon. Oregon. Yes. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, you were so fierce. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Well, that was amazing. That. Paul, that was awesome. Awesome. That was really good. How many is that, Jack? Six. Whoa. Oh, yes, queen. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out. There's only, three, left. there's only three words left. And guess what? With Team Tony's at 40 and Hey Eugene at 47, I say we call it a game. Congratulations. Oh, let's Jack hey, do them. Oh, we went Jack to them. Jack, do the final three. We'll guess. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Come on, Jack. Okay, here I go. Um, yeah. <laughs> two, two words. Two words. First, First word. word. Even, even. Even Steven. Even, even, even Steven. No, I got that. <laughs> Count me, mighty mo. Yes, and Ernest Borgnine. Borgnine. Ernest Borgnine yeah. crowning. Oh, Poseidon, that's really good, Jack. <laughs> Very good. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you for letting me play. Yay. You, wait a minute. So who won? <laughs> hey, Eugene. They got 47. Oh. So that means, hey, Eugene. Joey, Paul, and Steven. Hey, Eugene gets to pick someone from our team to tell an embarrassing, mortifying story from their past. <laughs> oh, Seth, I know so many of yours. <laughs> Why don't you ask the babushka lady? Come on, Alice Ripley. Give us something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the, one of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to me on stage was at the top of the second act of Sideshow uh, during previews, there was this great number and it was like over the top crystal headdresses and <clears throat> Emily and I were playing conjoined twins and we were on a poof downstage center, like inches from the edge of the stage. It was this big production number with a swing and we come down in the swing and the feathers and dancing girls. And I'm telling you over the top. And as we are being turned and the numbers ending as we're being turned around on this poof by two people spinning us, it comes apart like a Pac-Man comes apart and all of a sudden Emily Skinner's head is right here, like the top of her head is right here. And I just remember grabbing her wrist and going, you're not gonna, you're gonna come right, like pull, forcing her back up into position. But I think that somebody was let go that day on the crew. 
because they, they somebody forgot to, you know, they have to put the hook on it and then a Velcro and then a nail in it and da, 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 and something didn't happen and it came apart. But it's the top of the second act, so I was thinking, let's just start over again because <laughs> they know that we're not, they know we're not conjoined now because like they all saw it. That was very embarrassing. <laughs> it was just one of the many times that I was very embarrassed. Yeah, when, I was, when I was starring in a musical that I got a Tony nomination for, never happened. All right. Um, it's so embarrassing, but whatever. Um, brought by Alice Ripley. Well, you forced me to say something. What am I going to do? I already lost my hat. <laughs> I'm going to the Victoria thing. Um, I don't know what else to do. I don't have my tap shoes, or I, I tap dance as fast as I can. Well, Joe, <laughs> you did win, but I wouldn't mind hearing a mortifying story from your past. Because you won by a hair's breadth. Huh. <laughs> I think we won by a lot. But, I mean, Not I, really. I might have told this story already on here. But I don't know if it's so embarrassing and mortifying for me. But uh, when we were doing Grease, the musical, in, back in the 90s, um, Carlos Lopez decided during my most, uh, my, the only scene that was of any importance to me, worst things I could do that when I announced that I'm PG, um, he decided for my going away gift to leave a Merkin in the cooler where I went to go get my <laughs> beer or soda or whatever it was. And that really kind of set me off um, on just not not the right path for that moment, that emotional <laughs> moment for Rizzo. Oh <laughs> where did he get a Merkin? He, he makes them. <laughs> I think he sells them on Etsy. Etsy. On Etsy, that's right. Carlos Hawkins. <laughs> they were easy to find back then. They're not as easy to find now. But back then in 2007, they were everywhere. <laughs> Carlos underscore Merkins at Etsy. I um, have one more Merkin story really quickly. Brad Garrett and I were doing a show called Till Death on Fox for a number of years. And um, we had a lot of daughters. Uh, we changed our daughter every season. That's not the story. Um, <laughs> we, were doing a, we were doing an episode where... We had like a 0 0.08 rating, but we were separating our beds. We didn't want to sleep together anymore. So we were trying to entice one another to come back over to the other side to, you know, come sleep with me. So I was, I was kind of nude underneath, but the body stocking and I had hair and makeup, get me a Merkin. And I pasted it appropriately <laughs> on the nude bodysuit. And I didn't tell Brad and we had a live studio audience and he goes, let me get in there. And I lift up the sheet and he like almost vomited. He laughed so hard. <laughs> and it's the tape they used in the cut. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, anyway. I, 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 knew I have two Merkin stories. I have two Merkin stories. <laughs> that was so great. Oh my gosh. Good um, all right, guys, so much fun tomorrow night, inauguration, and then lots of other fun stuff. Julie and Alice, you guys have to come back. Yes, I would love to. This is so much fun. I want to get better. I have to improve. I'll study. <laughs> practice, practice. I'm a little slow on the uptake, but I can improve. So. <laughs> Bravo. All right, I'm going to roll the end credits, and I'll play. I don't know what the hell I'm going to play. Thank you, Jack. And Jack, you'll be hosting you. soon. Love you, guys. Miss you. Right, you. S2 is right. Peace out.